Good morning, everybody. So, we haven't really mentioned this, but I am getting my hair cut. But I'm actually getting it cut short again, back to like my chin. I used to have a bob. I cut my hair like right after our wedding. And then I got it, you know, cleaned up a couple of times, but this is the longest it's gotten. Um, I'm actually already a little bit late, so I will return with a fresh haircut. Ravioli. It is quite short, but I am very happy with it. We'll see how I'm able to like style it every day. It's still going to take some getting used to, but I'm back with short hair. So short. Oh, but I also realized. Okay, so I needed cash for a tip. So I went to 7-Eleven. I got these weird flavored chips. These are fried green tomato flavored. These are wavy lace. They're good. They do taste like tomato. Those are good. And these are pimento cheese flavored. I'm just having a little day to myself, huh? They kind of just taste like the sour cream and cheddar. With a little kick to them, but I really like them. Have you ever noticed that like I'm fairly easy to please? Let's go home. Figure out what we're doing today. Sarah is home and we're doing something that we, I don't think have done in at least six years probably. Probably since high school. One of us, at least one of us, potentially three of us, are gonna take a nap. It's only 2.50, it's Saturday. Magic Kingdom's up until 11 something or other. Mm -hmm. so. uh, Eve it was in need of a nap. Uh, we're kind of in need of a nap because we kind of stayed up late and we got up early. Um, but I'm gonna read Crushing It. I'm gonna attempt to. Sarah's gonna nap. Ben and Matt are taking a nap. Eve's taking a nap. I just think like it's, kind of gloomy out and the magic comes up until later and we've and just been killing I it this say, morning. like, Peter, let's just go take a nap and he actually says yes. Gotta grab the other drink. Because I never say yes. Not half enough, um, but I am grabbing some chips. Yeah, you get the chips ready. And I just want to say like we had a really productive morning and Sarah had a super productive morning. She got this full of candy corns. This is not going to be filled. This is going to be empty by Monday. Because I have no self-control when it comes to candy corn. Last thing, had a super fun morning on all the different social medias. Oh, this camera, guys. There we go. That's a beauty shot, if I've ever seen one. I'll be honest, guys. Uh, I can't nap anymore. But I'm not gonna stop Sarah when I told her she should. So me and Eve are gonna hang out. It's quarter to five. I tried. I ended up listening to some podcasts, watching some movies, watching some reviews. Still very questionable about if we should get this uh, Canon M50. There's there's so many cameras in the world, and when you go into ones with interchangeable lenses, there's, it's like a, it's a cutthroat out there. Got to think think some things through, do more reviews, but I'm going to actually cook some dinner for Sarah so when she wakes up, we can eat and then go, so we're not, you know, getting to the parks too late. It's been a gloomy day. We have Starbucks on Main Street. Um, our friend Lupe hooked us up with some fall drinks today, so thank you for that. I um, think I might go cold. I usually go hot, but I don't know. I got time. We'll figure that out. 
we're finally out of the house. Well, she's been out adventuring all day. We were like reverse roles. I was in the house until five, six-ish, and Sarah was out and about, and I felt cabin fever. So I'm pumped to be out. Parked at the Poly today. It's a nice temperature. It is, it's like, there's a little breeze. It's a little sticky, but that's because the rain just ended. Hopefully it stays away. 77 degrees. Yes, but as the sun sets, it'll get even cooler. Ooh, I should've worn my change. I thought about it, but then I went outside and I felt the humidity. And I was like, so we're going to Magic Kingdom. Ooh. This is the first time in months I think we've walked up to the boat dock when a boat's just arriving and not just leaving. Let the magic begin. We've made it to the Magic Kingdom, and once again, the annual pass holder line fools them all by thinking it's faster. But really, this should be, as long as they know what they're doing up there. We're getting Starbucks, but we got a whole plan already. Train, Splash Mountain, or Big Thunder. Train, to Main Street, Starbucks, to Main Street, smelling a fall. And we're getting right in the Magic Kingdom, right as the train is to tooting her way into the station. Sarah's already, well, I lost Sarah. Sarah's already remembering the side effects of having short hair. Swoop, I'm a swoop. A big old swoop. Oh, Waxy Heart. Where else can you travel from the charm of Main Street, USA to the untamed jungles of Africa, Asia, and South America? At the Magic Kingdom, anything is possible, and we're headed straight to the heart of Adventureland. The uh, Krusty Krab Pizza is a pizza. Really Krusty Krab Pizza is. Yeah, we're going on Big Thunder Mountain. It's been a while. It's gonna be a thrill. It's gonna be a gas. Not like the one that explodes at the end of the ride, but it's a, it's a term that you use when you say it's gonna be a good time. So we've got fast passes, but this is where the real heat begins. No matter how cold or hot it is outside, this trunch right here, it's like there's ovens and the air just does not move. Once you get down there, the air, air conditioning is beautiful. But from here, so sweaty. So sweaty. Always go left. Always go left. That one stop on the Grand Circle Tour of the Magic Kingdom just isn't enough. So we gotta hop, gotta hop back on. Howdy, folks. If you're just joining us, welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Railroad. Fantasyland Storybook Circus. This is the place to fly high with Dumbo. Or join Goofy on the Barnstormer, a rollicking ride of circus acrobatics and coaster thrills. The Grand Circle Tour is complete, and we realized, or Sarah looked it up, Happily Ever After is at 8.30. So we're gonna... It's not gonna be dark. We're gonna hit up Starbucks. Then we're probably gonna meet up with our friends to watch Melissa Happy Ever After. Brian. Yeah, Melissa and Brian are here tonight. It's their only night at Magic Kingdom, right? This was my OG favorite coffee for about seven years. We made our way in uh, um, Starbucks. Sarah's gonna get a combination of the pumpkin spice latte frappuccino and the salted caramel mocha frappuccino. I think I'm just gonna get the pumpkin spice frappuccino, but I'm just not sure yet. I might get the salted caramel mocha. Venti's. If I said today is like a vacation day, 
because we're getting in front of the castle like 45 minutes to an hour early. We're in Starbucks. We took the train. It's just been great. I'm getting a frappuccino with a shot of the special on top. It's called Alfredo. I got pumpkin spice frappuccino but with salt and caramel on top because that's the best. It's called a 360 cam. <laughs> I'm so sure. Nothing like classic fireworks crowds. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. Look at that, they're all officially lit this time. We've seen this a bunch of times, but not all the pumpkins were lit. So we're actually leaving. Not the longest Magic Kingdom day, but I was really jonesing for some Grand Floridian atmosphere. So even though we parked at the Pali, we're gonna take the boat, I think, over the Grand Floridian. Hang out there for a little bit. I doubt any music, there might be one more um, big top band going on for the night, but. I'm all about the piano player, so if the music's going, the music's going. We're just gonna sit around and enjoy some time at the Grand Floridian, and then walk on over to the Polynesian. Ooh, a big boat. Haven't had one of these in a long time. These are our favorite spots. <laughs> He's gonna sit there. <laughs> Okay guys, we have to be subtle. Santa Claus is on this boat. Wait till you see him from the front. So I'm just sitting down because we realized that the movie on the stars is still going on. It's the end of Monsters University. Peter's going to get us some water. We're gonna spend the rest of the night here. Sometimes you just do things that both make your wife mad and happy at the same time. Look at how beautiful and delicious this cupcake looks. It's vanilla cake with like orange stuff going on. Are you so excited to eat it? Christmas time is here. This is what we're here to do. We're here to sit in a chair and smell the smells and look the looks and... Maybe fall asleep. What? <laughs> no. We're gonna go to our chair or our couch over there. I'd just like to point out there's literally nothing going on in this lobby. There's not even music playing. She's got a grand new hairdo in the Grand Floridian lobby. It's, like I keep on saying how short it is, but it's, I think it's the shortest I've ever had it. It's the since shortest I was a baby. since you were a baby. A wee little rest. Up deuce. Half up, head down. I oh, love a good half up, head down. Should we go? Five more minutes. Five more minutes, then we go. So we're just walking from the Grand Flirty into the Polynesian. And right, we hit this stone. And this absolutely beautiful music just started playing randomly. That's so, so nice. Sweet. We're it's home. Me, She's so excited we're home. <laughs> hey, look at the camera. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>